I mean, it's been an absolutely tragic week for football and generally for culture and politics because we want to first pay tribute to another footballer and, you know, we should probably dedicate a whole show to him as well. But we want to talk about Papa Buba Diop, who died last week at the age of 42, another person who was gone too soon and who was monumental in the footballing world. Sean, what do yeah, you think about he, Yeah, you know, he played, most people, if you, like, especially in the English-speaking world, I think you, you would know about him because he played for Portsmouth um, and Fulham in the English Premier League. That is if you, like, if you're younger. But if you're a little older, you might remember him from uh, 2002 when he played for Senegal um, in the World Cup in South Korea and in Japan. And it, in what is now a famous victory, he started uh, the opening game of that World Cup for Senegal. They were playing France. France were the defending champions. Uh, they'd won the World Cup in 1998 at home. And their team included like players like Vieira, uh, Desailly, Lerian Turam, um, Thierry Henry, Emmanuel Petit, David Trezeguet. Um, Senegal, I don't think anybody remembers like who played for Senegal. I mean, later on, after that tournament, you kind of began to realize who played for Senegal. But Senegal was mostly these French-based uh, players. Senegal was also playing its first game ever at a World Cup. Um, and in, in the game, and we're going to show a clip in a, in a couple of minutes, in the game, France looked like they were going to score first. Um, uh, David Trezeguet, he hit the bar. I'm not talking about the Trezeguet who plays for Aston Villa right now. He's named after this guy. <laughs> um, and then around the 30th minute, um, Senegal made an attack, and Al Hadj Juve, who uh, played at the time for a French team called uh, Lance, he said Lance. Um, he was actually, funny thing about him is he was another player in temperament. He was a lot like Maradona um, in how people mm -hmm. reacted to him. Um, and also like how he was sort of being projected. He eventually ended up at Liverpool where he became like a star in the Liverpool team. Not a great Liverpool team. Uh, we've got Tony Carroll here as a Liverpool fan later. I know Tony might disagree with me about some of these things. Hey, you're a and Liverpool fan had, as well, so make that. No, make I'm, that well, this was, I'm also a Napoli fan, by the way. He beat Frank Leboeuf on the left, and then he crossed for Papa Juve. And, you know, Papa Juve was like, I think at that time he was playing in Switzerland. I think he was either on his way to France, or he was still playing in Switzerland with this team called Grasshoppers. And he hit this shot, like, straight at the goalkeeper, another great goalkeeper, Fabian Bartes. I think he was playing for United at the time. And the ball, sort of, the keeper, like, punched the ball, and the, he, he got a second stab at the ball, and he was on the ground. He was literally on the ground. Um, and he beat the, the keeper and the ball went into the net. And so the players, the Senegalese players, um, they ran um, uh, to the corner and the celebration that followed, everything was like incredible. It was like, something out of the empire. Was, this was like the empire strikes back. Um, and we're gonna play the video in a, in a couple of minutes, but more than anything, I think it's, it's, really, it's really like the celebration um, that happens at the end. And I just wanted to quote something, Lauren the boys, who a lot of you know, who's written a book about um, France, France and the World Cup. He wrote that great book about France in 98. Um, he, he wrote a piece for Africa as a country in 20, 2018 when the World Cup was in, in Russia, which is the second time that Senegal was back at the World Cup. He wrote these lines, and I just want to read them. Uh, Jew took off his jersey and ran to the corner flag. As his teammates ran towards him, he placed the jersey on the ground, gesturing towards it. It was a powerful point. The jersey scored the goal. He seemed to be saying, it is the jersey that should be celebrating. Moving the focus away from himself, he centered it on the symbol, not as the team, uh, not, not just of the team, but on the history of Senegalese football itself, understanding the deep historical significance of the moment. So just before we move on, um, just to show you this clip, so you could get like a sense of uh, what this was like. So if I'll produce it. And it's Djokaev who gets caught in possession here. And it was Dav who put El Hadjouf away. And they've got two striding up in the centre here. Bouba Jop is there. Oh, and Bouba Jop is there. And Senegal had scored the first goal of the 2002 World Cup. After half an hour's play, Papa Bouba Jop. Oh. Just look at this celebration. Remarkable, truly, truly remarkable. Like, yeah, goosebumps seeing that. Yeah, and this was this was kind of equal. If you're if you're older like me, 
this was kind of equal to like Argentina, Algeria, sorry, beating Germany in 82 um, with two, two, two goals to one in, in, in that tournament. And then 1990, right, will uh, Cameroon beating Argentina. And not even, I don't even think it has to be a matter of comparing it to a game, but for people who are much younger, like myself, <laughs> you think of iconic World Cup moments. And for South Africans, of course, I'm biased to South Africans. Every South African thinks of Spiwe Chabalala scoring that goal in 2010, the celebration that followed, the significance of that moment, and the fact that this player who, ignoring what would become of the rest of his career, etched himself into the hearts and memories of every single South African by scoring just one goal. Everyone forgot what happened in that game, what happened to South Africa in the rest of that tournament. It was the significance of that goal, what it meant to the people who cared about it and how the team celebrated it. So, I mean, this is, this is, that mo this is a, a moment that preceded all of those and really, I guess, set the, set the, the, the scene for, for the, the ones to follow. So yeah, we all miss uh, Papa Dubajup. Um, rest in peace, brother.